Okay, we made it to the top of the Gular. Today, we're going to be first mounting some bindings on my new black rose. Then, skiing our gnarly Gular at 5 a.m. And finally, find out whether or not you should buy these skis. All right, guys, this is how you mount bindings onto skis at home. So today we woke up at 5 a.m. We're gonna try to go on this mission to ski this Kular. It's a pretty big Kular, really cloudy right now, and there are some cracks in the sky as you can see, so it might clear up. I'm putting on my beacon now. Here with my dad and Rafael. He actually moved here just to ski. Yep, best choice. <laughs> Same jacket too. Yeah. On the way up, these skis felt pretty light. However, that's because I'm used to skiing the bench Shetlers with the atomic shifts. On these Black Crows Animas, I put the Marker Alpinist Tech bindings on from an old pair of skis. So compared to what I was used to, these felt light. We're gonna go up, up into this really steep terrain, which is pretty dangerous. We're taking a snow pit now. Yeah, so far, I haven't seen any weak layers. Have you guys seen? No. Checking the snowpack right now, and as you can see, going full force, nothing is happening. Okay, there. But that's the not top really layer a, is kind of. Really no, it just slush. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I think we're good. I think we're good to go there. All right, it's really steep here. It's probably like 45 degrees. The animals are definitely on the heavier side, but I actually like that because then the skis are more stable. There's the Kular we're skiing down. We skied that Kular before over there. I hope the visibility stays like this. This day was definitely worth waking up at 5 a.m. for. The avalanche danger was super low. There was even some fresh snow in the Kular. Now it was just time to see how my new skis would work on the way down. Yeah, we're just going up the Kular. Pretty nice. Nice snow here. All right, we're sitting at the top of the Kular. Oh yeah, this is awesome. That was fun. Okay, we made it to the top of the Kular. I dropped my helmet like halfway up the Kular, so I'm borrowing my dad's helmet. So that's why he's not wearing a helmet. I forgot to turn on 360 mode on my GoPro, so the angle was pretty bad. However, the snow was amazing and these skis were really stable. I was skiing down this old frozen slough and I barely noticed it with these skis, so these skis were really stable, which is a good fit for Northern Norway, where you need a ski that can perform in powder, but also charge through harder snow, because here in Northern Norway, the snow varies a lot. 